Uh, I'm Daniel Keeper. I work for Aqua. I'm software developer and I'm joined uh, Green Ma uh, Gap maintenance team uh, in 2016. And uh, with me is uh, Vladimir, uh, who has been working for the project for many years. And we will be presenting uh, what we are doing currently and uh, we would like to ask at the end uh, what are our expectations in regards to GRAP. So here is the presentation agenda. We would like to introduce uh, GRAP uh, maintainers. We would like to tell you something about car current release and our plans for next release. Uh, later, uh, Vladimir will tell something about his ideas uh, in regards to new config language. And uh, at the end, we would like to present some more generic uh, future plans and uh, would like to spark discussion about uh, community expectations and cooperations with Vistos. Uh, so uh, I now I would like to introduce uh, current Grab uh, maintainers. There are of four of them, including uh, an official one. Uh, Vladimir has been working uh, for many years for this project, and he is the most experienced uh, uh, in our uh, in our group. Unfortunately, he is busy busy with uh, other things, so he uh, wouldn't uh, to, uh, he cannot be involved in the group maintenance as he would would uh, would like to. So, uh, in uh, 2016, it was decided that uh, uh, the team uh, will be extended. At, at the end of that year, uh, uh, Alex and uh, I from Oracle joined uh, the team. Uh, we also uh, asked Andre to join, but unfortunately, uh, due to some uh, lack, due to lack uh, of some paperwork, uh, he was not uh, able to join fully to, uh, to the project. We, we, we hope that it will change uh, sooner or later because we appreciate uh, his involvement and uh, knowledge. Uh, as you may know, we released uh, Grab uh, 2.02 at the end of uh, April last year and there were uh, some bunch of quite interesting features. Uh, first of all, uh, there was uh, introduced arm, uh, ARM support for different uh, architectures. There was also uh, uh, prepared uh, support for ZPV guest by Vladimir and uh, I e extended multiboot to protocol uh, with uh, two most uh, important features in, in that area. The one was uh, EFI boot services availability for DOS DOSS and another thing was uh, uh, support for self recordable uh, OSC managers. Uh, these both features are used uh, by Zen uh, to boot it on uh, EFI platforms. And of course, uh, plenty of fixes uh, for issues found uh, during uh, development. What are our plans uh, for 2.004? Uh, we are going to release that in the second half of uh, this year. And uh, the most important features are related to the security. Currently, uh, we are uh, reviewing uh, the core thing which is needed to these features. It is called uh, Verifiers Framework. It was prepared by uh, Vladimir and this feature is under review. On top of uh, this uh, framework, there will be two security features provided. One is uh, the, the TPM support, which is uh, prepared by Matthew Garrett and uh, it was posted, as I remember, it was posted by Matthew Garrett and is uh, under review. Uh, and uh, the second feature uh, is prepared by me. Uh, this is a UEFI Secure Boot support, and it is still under uh, under review. Uh, second feature uh, is quite interesting for uh, Zen users. It is uh, uh, Zen PVH support. It was posted by uh, Jurgen Gross uh, from SUSE, and there is a, uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, work happening around. around uh, support for uh, ARM uh, uh, and R, uh, R ARM uh, to 32 and 64 bits. Uh, there is also some interest in Spark platform, uh, and uh, this work is mostly done by uh, people from Oracle uh, on Debian folks' uh, request. Uh, it's happening uh, slowly, but it's going forward. And of course, uh, there are a lot of, of fixes. And I would like to ask Vladimir to take to tell something about uh, new config language. Uh, Vladimir, please take a mic.
One thing that we learned from feedback is that uh, Grab current config language is very powerful for if you want to do something advanced, but at the same time, for most users, it's it's uh, very complicated and uh, over the board for what it wants to achieve and uh, actually stands in the way of many tools. Like uh, the language is Turing complete, so if you want to, to do any manipulation of uh, config files reliably, you would have to solve halt problem, and uh, that's uh, obviously not possible. So the idea would be that we would keep the current Grub language as a possibility for advanced stuff, but for most common stuff we would like to have, uh, to have something simpler. And the, there are several, several goals for it. First goal is that OS and not kernels, because uh, Currently, all the config languages present for different bootloaders are always like list this kernel used with this initRD and these parameters. Then another kernel, kernel this initRD, these parameters. And you actually repeat the same stanza over and over for every kernel. And this actually stands in, in, stands in a way that there is no possibility of signing the kernel because we have to regenerate it, no possible sign in the config, because we have to regenerate it with every, with every update, which is, uh, which is bad. And uh, also, it's easy to actually list all the kernels, it's just directory listing. It's something that uh, we, we, don't, we shouldn't have to put in a text file just uh, so it's in the text file. And leads, this leads us to the the other goal is si signable. It means that perfectly, perfectly, if you you should be able to basically just drop the distro with already signed the config, and this config should work. And uh, also, all, uh, and another goal is that uh, possibility of. Uh, of uh, efficient multi-boot, because currently the way it's handled, there would be, be some mass, either handle it ma manually with inclusion of the configs, or you have some master installation which scans other configs, which leads to whole set of problems, like updating a kernel, would, you would need to reboot into master system, and it's a mess, so it's... <laughs> So it has to be efficient multi-boot. And it should be something easily manipulatable. <coughs> uh, I'm currently writing a design doc for it, but just to give a small taste of it, a Linux kernel could, Linux OS could be something like Linux, then, then you just tell that disk is equal this. It means that you want to use exactly the same disk as where this config file is. And boot pass equal slash boot and init rd type equals let's say And then perhaps uh, on top of it, you want to you you want to boot some some uh, you you may ha have some other config figure for some other OS for another Linux, but you don't want to describe this other Linux in your config. You'd rather let it it it, it describe yourself itself. So you add a sibling config, and you. 
you sell, tell disk equal disk type and you write let's say OID equals some OID and pass equals slash boot slash OS desk dot CFG. It would uh, also have some provisions uh, to, to handle uh, to, uh, to ha handle OSs which are foreign to free to liberal world. Like for example, it could be something EFI, and you you add an entry that disk and then pass, and that would load. EFI binary. That's meant primary for Windows uh, and other OSs that your grab does not support. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's an, obviously it's a not set in stone, but the idea is that it would be something which. So, for example, you could up until here, that's something that you could sign. This way, you know that you have no malicious argument, no nothing. Ah, also, this so I forgot here. Argument. And you put put any argument that you want to pass to pass to the kernel. Uh, uh, and uh, it it uh, is it uh, also is, so the idea is that it would n perhaps not be able to handle all the use cases, but for the most advanced, you would still still have a, has a current config language around. But uh, this is uh, something which should be able to handle most use cases at, and most common variants. Uh, and, but I spe especially look for the feedback uh, about uh, wh how do, uh, how, what do you think about this idea, what kind of uh, goals would, uh, would you have, what kind of, uh, kind of changes you would li like to this idea and so on. And we actually have some discussion time at the end, and we can use that time. Yeah. Thanks, Vladimir. So let's continue. What are our more generic plans? Well, first of all, we would like to increase patches review throughput and decrease response. Uh, delay for images. It's quite difficult for us because um, uh, all of us involved are in, are involved in other projects. So, uh, so it is uh, quite difficult to catch up with uh, with uh, uh, all emails. Uh, but we are trying to uh, to fix it, and um, there is a chance that I, I will be able to be more involved in, in the reading emails. Let's say. Um, let's, the second uh, quite important uh, task to do for us is uh, to reduce the number of custom patches needed b by uh, various distros to uh, make Grab to usable for them without mm, mm, tons of extra patches uh, which are currently applied uh, by many distros. This is our goal and if you, if you are able to help us in that project that will be great. Uh, of course, we would like to, in general, improve uh, uh, overall cooperation with distros and uh, other interested parties. And uh, last but not least, we would like to introduce automatic testing of grab to code from, uh, from the Git tree. I don't have any specific idea right now. I thought about something which is quite autonomous. Uh, as I know, Vladimir has, has some uh, scripts. Maybe we will use that uh, as a, a starting point, but uh, we also thinking about something like Travis or something like that. Uh, this is not a set in stone, so just idea. And uh, as Vladimir said, we would like to start a discussion uh, about uh, the Grab uh, project, its cooperation uh, with the community with the and distros. Uh, and uh, we would like to, uh, to know your opinion in regards to many, uh, to many things. Uh, what do you care about? Maybe there are things which are not uh, important for you. And uh, 
uh, are, are, are our plans attractive and interesting for, for you? Maybe we should change some priorities uh, uh, in the project or maybe there are other things which we should take uh, into account and think, uh, think of. So uh, let's start the discussion. So we are looking for questions or suggestions. Too. Um, thank you for um, trying to make the, the, the work more usable. Um, I'm from the city administration of Munich, uh, so we make our uh, downstream distribution of Ubuntu. We also have a patch version of Rob. Yeah. Because uh, uh, for us it was very hard to, I mean, many distributions have some um, fallback in the drumfs, yeah. uh, which basically gives you the chance to drop to a root shell. And we had a hard time securing this for the normal client systems. So we basically patched the generation scripts of the graph config. So uh, putting a password on such fallback uh, in a drama as options in an easy way would be great. OK. But as, as usual, patches are welcome. <laughs> we are uh, happy to review. Uh, and well, that's uh, is, that's actually the problem is that current generation generation is complicated and uh, and un, 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 almost unmaintainable. And also, the, one idea of this is that you don't have to regenerate it every time you have a new kernel. That's why OS and not kernels. So it would just it's a, the idea is that it would be something basically human readable and human writable, not uh, something that only the tools can generate. But uh, I'm, I'm not sure that you told that uh, we're also planning to leave the, the current uh, support for shell, shell uh, language. So there will be both uh, config languages available. Uh, yeah, yes, I, I told it, but it's uh, important to, to remember it. Sorry. So, so both languages will be, uh, config languages be, will be available. Um, and you have no plans to deprecate the more complicated language at some point, or is this still uh, something you want to decide on at a later point? Mm, I, at I, this, it, will, it, it is too, too early to say. I generally, really probably no, because um, because if you want to deprecate more complicated language, you would have to replicate all its features in a simpler language, which will make it complicated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So at, at, at this point uh, right now, we don't think about that. That's great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Any more questions? Yeah. So for me, I think the, the, the biggest thing that, that needs to happen is, as, as you mentioned, reduce the amount of patches yeah. that distribution needs to carry. For me, the absolutely top one there has to be the the UEFI secure boot support because that's it's painful just to watch how the different distros treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that was uh, one of the problems uh, that uh, the verified framework try, tries to solve. That uh, there are, I, I'm aware of at least perhaps like four four different verification mechanisms that the different folks want for different users, and they all clash in terms of patches. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's painful. And we w would like to promise that we are not going to introduce uh, another uh, Linux command <laughs> to the ma <laughs> Linux mess. That would be good too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I mean, following on to that with reducing the delta in patches, I, I, I know it's a pain, but more frequent releases. Yeah. Because that, that has been in the past, you know, there's, there's some things that have been fixed upstream for a long time. Yeah. But the distributions don't want to make package something that hasn't been released and hence they <coughs> keep cherry picking and then you know you start with one patch then it's two then it's twenty. <laughs> there's more than fifty <laughs> in some distros. <laughs> oh I, I think uh, Peter Jones actually automated this so he just imports everything. Um, <laughs> I discussed that with him, and he does, doesn't like uh, current state. So he started posting some patches, uh, fixing, uh, and so so we'll see. We have five minutes more. So yes. I was wondering, um, do you think that 
think you're currently in, a, in an efficient state that you can handle all these different requests? Um, uh, uh, handle what? Sorry, I, I didn't. In terms of, of reviewing the patches and, uh, and handling the, the, uh, all the different requests? Uh, that says something that uh, we, we are, especially partially we are aware of uh, the problems with that. We have uh, spoken with other projects who had simply similar problems. And uh, we, uh, we, we, we actually already got uh, a separate server specifically for whatever auto automation we want to implement, implement to help us. Uh, we, we would not like to announce it before before we have a, like, like an exact plan, but uh, it's in the works and uh, I, it's most likely it will happen this year. Anything else? So I think that we, yeah. yeah, sure. Could we change the default reply to policy on the mailing list? Because the oh, yeah. list works different from any other mailing list out there. And I will it, try. It just, it just means that people keep getting dropped off CC. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know what you mean. I, okay, okay, I will try to change that and I'll ask uh, and I'll list my tenants to change that. But it's, yes, it's, it's awful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much flame boring topic. <laughs> <laughs> because on the other list, uh, it, I'm so accustomed to the, this reply to that when I, I'm on the other list, my replies get get lost to the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. So I guess the a mailing list would be the place to uh, have the discussion, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and right now it has two proposals, discussion and patches, which is bad. Because like, for example, it's, a, it's hard to, to, rem to, to see, you have overview like which patches are committed and, and which ones are not. The current state, uh, whether that is it. And uh, also voicing the obje objections is also not that clear, it may, may get lost and then it's unclear whether it was addressed or not. Uh, there have been cases when the have accidentally committed something where, where another maintainer had a valid objection. Are doing pitch work? Help? Sorry? Pitch work. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you use pitch work? No. Do you need help? No. no. Okay, I think that we have finished. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Thank you.